Hi students, in this lecture of properties of triangles, we will learn the half angle formulas. So the half angle formulas for sine, cosine and tangents are given over here. The statements are in triangle ABC, sine A by 2 is equal to square root of S minus B into S minus C by BC. For cos A by 2 is equals to square root of s into s minus a by b c and for tan a by 2 is equals to square root of s minus b into s minus c by s into s minus a so here where this s is okay this s is the semi perimeter which is nothing but in a triangle a b c a plus b plus c by 2 in general the perimeter 2s is equals to sum of the lengths of the sides of a triangle where s is nothing but a plus b plus c by 2 where small a small b small c or the lengths of the triangle and uh, to go for the proof for this one consider the first one sine a by 2 so we know that for the first one we know that sine a by 2 Finding the sine a by 2, we have the formula in terms of cosine. We can write 1 minus cos a. We can write as 1 minus cos a is equals to 2 sine square a by 2. These are the half angle formulas in trigonometry. So 1 minus cos a is equals to 2 sine square a by 2. And from the cosine rule. From the cosine rule, we can write cos a is. Just recall the lecture of cosine rule. We can write cos a is, which is nothing but s. Here we have angle a. The other sides are b square plus c square minus a square by 2bc, which is the formula for cos a cosine from the cosine rule. And now consider 1 minus cos a and substitute cos a as b square plus c square minus a square by 2bc and go on the simplification we can write over here this is as LCM uh, if we take LCM then we can write it as as minus b square minus c square plus a square by 2bc we can write a square minus if we take minus as a common then we can write this is a b square plus c square minus 2bc by 2bc and uh, whereas now we can write b square plus c square minus 2bc as b minus c whole square by 2bc and here which is in the form of some x square minus y square we can write it is as x plus y into x minus y then we can write over here as a plus of b minus c that means x plus y into x minus y a minus of b minus c by 2 b c and here we can simplify this as a plus b minus c into a minus b plus c by 2bc and we have to relate this to the perimeter s now we have a plus b minus c add plus c and minus c for this one then we can write this is as a plus b plus c as 2s minus 2c then we can write as 2 times of s minus c now we can write a plus b minus c as 2s minus 2c Whereas this a minus b plus c, a minus b plus c, add plus b and minus b, then we'll get this is as 2s minus 2b. So a plus c minus b or a minus b plus c can be written as 2s minus 2b by 2bc. And uh, we have this is uh, total results of 1 minus cos a. We are simplifying for 1 minus cos a then we write this is as 1 minus cos a as 2 sine square a by 2 1 minus cos a in terms of half angle formulas it is 
2 sin square a by 2 and we can take 2 as a common from the two product terms and we can write this is as s minus b into s minus c by 2 b c and now 2 and 2 LHS RHS side cancelled out and 2 by 2 will be cancelled out and finally we can write as sin square a by 2 as s minus b into s minus c by b c and from this one we can write sin a by 2 sin a by 2 i square root of square root of s minus b into s minus c by b c which is our required half angle formula in terms of sine. okay now similarly we can write for sin b by 2 also we can write for sin b by 2 if it is in sin a by 2 we have the other sides b and c and it is in sin b by 2 which will be in the other sides of uh, what is c and a now we can write this is a sin b by 2 i square root of s minus c into s minus a by a c and uh, similarly we have sin c by 2 sin c by 2 i square root of s minus a into s minus b by a b now these three are the half angle formulas in terms of sine so the sine a by 2 is e square root of s minus b into s minus c by b c and sine b by 2 i square root of s minus c into s minus a by a c and sine c by 2 is square root of s minus a into s minus b by a b to remember easily if the angle is a we have to use the other sides small b and small c if the angle is in terms of half angle b then we have to use the other side c and a if the angle is of half angle c the other sides are a and b we have to write in terms of a and b now these are the half angle formulas in terms of sine now we will go for the second formula which is in terms of cosine the half angle formula for cosine the proof to consider over here we know the formula just we have seen that for sine a by 2 1 minus cos a can be written as 2 sin square a by 2 now we can write over here as 1 plus cos theta otherwise 1 plus cos a is 2 cos square theta by 2 that is 2 cos square a by 2 and from the cosine rule we can write okay now i am considering the lhs over here that is 1 plus cos a from the cosine rule we can write as what it is cos a can be written as b square plus c square minus a square by 2 b c now we can write over here this is as by taking lcm 2 b c plus b square plus c square minus a square by 2 b c and now this term can be written as b square plus c square plus 2 b c can be written as b plus c whole square minus a square by 2 b c and uh, we can write over here this is as x square minus y square in the form then x plus y into x minus y x plus y b plus c plus a into x minus y b plus c minus a by 2 times of b c and we know that the perimeter the sum of the lengths of a triangle is nothing but 2 times s and uh, we have b plus c minus a over here add plus a and minus a then we can write this is as b plus c plus a minus 2a where b plus c plus a a plus b plus c as 2s minus 2a okay these are the known things to us from the triangle then we can write this is as 2s into 2s minus 2a by 2bc now we know that what is 1 plus cos a 1 plus cos a can be written as 2 cos square a by 2 now we can write this is as 2 cos square a by 2 and is equals to by taking 2 and 2 as a common then we can write this is as s into s minus a by 2 times of bc and 2 and 2 cancel out over here this 2 and 
the by 2 will be cancelled out we can write cos square a by 2 is s into s minus a by bc and from this one we can write cos a by 2 cos a by 2 is equals to square root of s into s minus a by bc so now which is our required cosine half angle formula and similarly similarly we can write for what is cos b by 2 we can prove we can prove that cos b by 2 is square root of now it is cos a by 2 s into s minus a related to the same angle by bc other uh, sides now we can write s into s minus b by other sides are a into c okay s into s minus b by a into c which is nothing but cos b by 2 and the cos c by 2 can be written as square root of s into s minus c small c over here into a b other sides okay now these are the cosine half angle formulas cos a by 2 is equals to square root of s into s minus a by b c cos b by 2 is equals to square root of s into s minus b by a c and cos c by 2 is equals to square root of s into s minus c by a b now we can go for the third one tan a by 2 okay the half angle formula tan a by 2 which can be written as sin a by 2 ratio of sin to cos sin a by 2 by cos a by 2 and we already derived for sin a by 2 what is sin a by 2 s minus b into s minus c by bc square root of s minus b into s minus c by bc by and cos a by 2 s into s minus a square root of s into s minus a by bc now if we simplify this we will get over here this is as tan a by 2 is equals to s minus square root of s minus b into s minus c by s into s minus a square root of s minus b into s minus c by s into s minus a and similarly we can write for the other angles what is tan b by 2 and what we can write for tan b by 2 tan b by 2 is now here the angle is a the product terms are other sides now your angle is b the product terms are s minus c into s minus a s minus c into s minus a by s into the same side what is s into s minus b now here it is square root which is tan b by 2 tan b by 2 is equals to square root of s minus c into s minus a by s into s minus b and what is tan c by 2 tan c by 2 is equals to square root of now the other sides s minus a into s minus b by s into s minus c s into s minus c these are the half angle formulas for sin a by 2 cos a by 2 tan a by 2 similarly we have derived for sin b by 2 sin c by 2 and cos b by 2 and cos c by 2 and tan c b by 2 and tan c by 2 now we will discuss few results from the above half angle formulas what is sin a okay we can write this sin a as 2 sin a by 2 into cos a by 2 just before we have derived that the sine a by 2 is square root of sine a by 2 is square root of s minus b into s minus c by b c so this is for sine a by 2 and cos a by 2 we have derived that s into s minus a by b c square root of s into s minus a by b c so now if we simplify this we can write this is a denominator square root bc into square root bc we can write simply it is as bc into square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so where s is the peri semi perimeter of the triangle and small a small b small c are the lengths of the 
sides length of sides of a triangle so now the angle a can be founded if the sides of the lens are given okay the lens of the sides are given then we can find the angle a is 2 by bc into square root of s minus a into s minus b into s minus c now similarly we can write for what is sine b sine b can be written as what is 2 cos b by 2 into sine b by 2 then we can write this is as 2 by we can write this is as 2 by so a b c b c a okay now so for sine b it is 2 by c a into square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c now similarly we can write for sine c sine c is 2 by a b sine c is 2 by a b into square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c now these are the results from the half angle formula sine a by 2 we can write sin b by 2 and cos a by 2 we can write as sin a as 2 by bc into square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c and sin b as 2 by ca into square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c and sin c as 2 by ab times of square root of s, s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c now these all are about the sin what is half angle formulas we have discussed about sin a by 2 sin b by 2 and sin c by 2 in terms of the perimeter semi perimeter s if the angle sides are given a b c now similarly we have found it for cos a by 2 cos b by 2 cos c by 2 and the tan a by 2 tan b by 2 tan c by 2 as well as we have derived the few results from these half angle formulas as sin a sin b sin c in terms of the sides are given if the triangle sides are given we can find it the sin a sin b sin c i think this lecture help you to find out the half angle formulas in the next lecture we will come with another concept thank you